Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to set up the alerting on the multi-time frame sweep and alert indicator. So I'll have the link to this in the description in the video. When you click this link, come up here and click add to favorites, refresh trading view on your side, and then you will see it in your favorites list and you can add it to the chart. Again, add to favorites, refresh trading view, and then add it to your chart. So a little backstory on this particular indicator. I trade the fractal model primarily. And what is it that we as traders would love to have that trade the fractal model? An alert, right? I could not find anything out there in TradingView. I spent a lot of time looking at various indicators, couldn't find anything that would do this. So I just created my own. And so what you will get when you apply this to your charts is whatever time frame alignment that you were looking at on your chart i'm on the one minute looking at the 15 minute time frame and the three looking at the 30 quite often and so i will get a visual alert as well as an audible alert to my phone my tablet whatever i'm on when there is a sweep on the higher time frame so i'm in replay mode right now from last thursday i'm just going to show you an example and go through uh, two things about the alerts I want you guys to know about, and then we'll jump into the settings real quick here. So Thursday, 9.42, gonna go ahead and keep jumping forward here. 9.45, 9.46, and then boom. There's the initial sweep on the 15 minute time frame. You can see we've got a visual label on the one minute time frame and if you would have set if you would have set up the alerting you would have been notified right here right now on your phone hey we've got an alert on the 15 minute time or a sweep on the 15 minute time frame so two things about the alerts that i want you guys to know about and this depends on the settings that you set up so let me go through that real quick and i chose this particular example because i want you guys to be aware of this because there's pros and cons to each of the two settings, and I'll talk about that now. If you have the enable time frame alignment checked, which I strongly recommend you do, and then uncheck this, just leave this unchecked, what that will do is that will notify you immediately when there is a sweep on a higher time frame candle. Now, the only downside to that is sometimes it can give you false positives where you might get a sweep and then the trend continues and you're like, oh man, you know, and some people have expressed to me they don't like that. They'd rather get the candle closure, and I and I get it. And but I will well, I will explain why I don't like that option <laughs> in just a second. So, again, just to let you know, as soon as you get the sweep on the higher time frame, if you set the alerts up in this manner where this is not checked, you will be notified immediately on the sweep. So let's play this forward here. So you got the alert. You see the alert. And then you're like, hey, what's going on? Well, you were alerted to the sweep. We're still playing things out here. We got a little Judas swing going on here. Now we got a beautiful change in the state of delivery. Projections plotted. I'm gonna keep playing forward here. Let's see, we're on the 958, 959. And there is the 10 o'clock candle. So if you wanted to be well, let me back up and say, if you check this box here, you will be alerted at this point in time because candle two has just closed or it's just candle, candle two did the sweep and then closed completely. Now candle three has started and at this point you would get the alert like, hey, there's a sweep if you checked this box here. Now, I will just say my two cents, I don't like that in the sense that I know a lot of people are more comfortable trading, I guess what we know is candle three, C3, and then seeing how it goes from there. My only objection to that that I have is a lot of the times the train has already left the station at that point, which is why I wanted to show you this example. You know, we got the sweep down here, we've got the Judas swing that's happening, it's right around that silver bullet time frame. It's getting ready to kick off. And then you've got the change in the state of delivery, in this beautiful trade here. If you would have entered right here after the change in the state of delivery formed, so say I got in right at this candle here. 
that's 510 so you come up just using the candle bodies now you're at 557 let's just round it up and say 560 there's 50 points right there that it's already happened before the next people in the other camp are deciding what to do here and again that's those people that wanted to say well i want to get the alerts after the candle closure again i'm not knocking that i mean some people are comfortable with that i get it I just feel like a lot of times for me personally, I've already missed the train when that happens and I've got comfortable uh, myself trading the sweep on candle two. Again, depending on where we're at in the chart, depending on if we're on uh, higher time frame PD arrays, if there's certain things there that, that are going on, um, you know, that's, that's, that's my comfort level there. So I'm just expressing that. Pros and cons to both, pros being pros and cons of the first one is you can get some false positives whereas you may have got a sweep here and then this thing may have kept going kept going down and you know to me that's okay i was notified of the sweep but the trend's continuing no big deal to me other people felt like eh, it's a pain in the butt because i'm not getting a real sweep per se yeah man you got a sweep all right it's just the trend continued nothing you can do about that whereas here you know you got this the, the sweep occurred you know, it, the train's starting to go in the opposite direction now. You got the reversal happening, but now you are alerted here. And now you can decide what to do. I don't even remember what happened right here. So let's just go ahead. And, yeah, great, nice storm outside as I'm forming, or filming this. <laughs> so anyway, you've got all this going on right now. And it, you know, it does continue on. So it just depends on your comfort level, guys, which one you want to set. So. Again, you'll be alerted immediately on a sweep here. Obviously here, like it says, you won't be alerted until after the candle is closed. So let's jump into the alerting itself and let me show you what we've got here. The way that I set mine up here, is I create a bullish sweep and a bearish sweep on each of the time frames. You can see I've got the 30 here, Got the 15 here. I've got to finish putting an hour bullish here, but definitely the 15 and the 30. Let me go ahead and just take these out real quick. And so what I would recommend that you do is to come in here, come into your bias and your sweep alerts and set them both to bullish and click. And if you want the candle closure, click that, click OK. Then come in here and say add alert. We're on the one minute. Obviously we want to target the 15 minute candles once per bar. Definitely very important that you click that. Everything else stays the same. And then here you can say 15 minute bullish sweep and I'll say candle closure. Click OK. Come back into it. Same thing bearish. Bearish only on the sweep alerts. Come on, add an alert once per bar, message, and then a 15 minute bearish sweep, candle closure, and click create, and then there you go. So you've got your alerts, you've got your alerts there. And then just do that on the 15, or do that on the 30, and do that on the one minute. Let's go ahead and do the 30 so you, you're familiar with that. So let me jump to the three. I think this is already at bearish, so yeah, we'll leave that there. So go in here, click Add Alert. Again, we want the 30 minute sweep in return. So keep that in mind because we're on the three minute. Once per bar. And sweep, CC, delete all that. And then there you go there. And then the same thing with the bullish side. And then when you do your hour, if you want to get an hour uh, alert on candle closure just come in here and I'm sorry come into the five minute and then do your alert there just say add an alert make sure this is the one hour sweep and return once per bar and then change your one hour time frame to be whatever you want it to say and that's it guys um, the other thing also is just to let you know if you want to be alerted anytime there is a sweep let me jump back to the one minute then what you would do, what I do is I uncheck this, put this to neutral, this to both, 
click OK. And then I come in here, say once per bar, and then I just simply say 15 minute sweep. And that's it. And then that way I will get an alert anytime there's a sweep on the 15 minute. So then that way I can go in there to, and decide, you know, whether I want to engage in the market at that point or, or not. So, um, you know, I'm not saying I'm one of those guys that likes to pick the bottom and, and you know, pick the top and try to get in there right at the you know very edge but I do want to be notified when there's a sweep so I don't you know I don't mind some of the false positives that I get uh, other people that message me they're like hey you know can you add, add the candle closure you know yeah no problem I, I definitely get where you're coming from and that's why I did that so just want to make sure you guys are up to speed on how the add, how to add the alerts again I would the way I do it and would strongly recommend is just set the bias bias <laughs> set the bias and the sweep alerts to the one direction that you're targeting and then okay and then add the alerts from there and again this is the big one once per bar on the trigger so that's your message to whatever you want it to say and click create all right guys hope that helps out this thing i have been loving this thing it has helped tremendously when i'm tied up in a meeting when i can be at, there's there's been a couple times literally i have been at, at you know say at the grocery store I get an alert in the afternoon, you know, kind of that, that silver bullet time frame between, you know, 1, 1 32 p.m. I'll get an alert, I'll stop, I'll look, and I'm like, oh yeah, get in the chart, and I'll get like a, you know, 20, 30, 40 point move right there and just get back out right in the aisle of getting the peanut butter and jelly or something. <laughs> anyway, I know that's kind of cheesy, but you guys get what I'm saying. It's just, it's just so nice to, you know, hey, I'm not, I'm not on the chart at the time, but boom. You know, the, the charts are alerting me like, hey, man, there, here comes an alert on the 15 minute. Just wanted to let you know. I jump on the phone. You know, that's it. I'm, you know, anyway, I'm just giving you an example. It's, it's not always like that. There's, you know, been times where I'm at other places or uh, not able to be on the charts at the time. But it's just it's just convenient that, you know, it comes to your phone wherever you're at and then you can just interact at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and close this video down storming pretty bad outside so i don't want to lose power here hope you guys can hear this okay but i hope that makes sense if not shoot me a message um and i'll try to you know get back to you as soon as i can but i'm hoping i explain that pretty well uh, without babbling too far on here so all right you guys have a great rest of your week weekend whenever you're watching this and uh, happy trading to you good luck everybody